Hello, and welcome back to an episode of Jurassic Craft. This is part 10, I think. Again, still haven't checked. Don't know why I never check before the episode. <laughs> Anyways, last time we finally put the Velociraptors into this cage. I think that was last time. Yeah, that was definitely last time. And before I get too deep into the video and talking and stuff, I really quickly want to say I know the gaps between my videos have been getting a lot longer. I'm sorry that with, like, the ends of the school semester and stuff and Christmas coming up, it's probably gonna continue like that for at least a little bit. So hang in there, I'm sorry, I'll try to make more videos, but anyways, back to what I was talking about. Uh, last time we put the Velociraptors in here, and I actually have no idea where they are. Hold on. Uh, F1, go out of F5 mode. I still can't find them. I saw a female somewhere. It, yeah. They seem to be very good at hiding in this area. <laughs> hey, at least for one thing, I did make a very useful cage to them. Uh, anyways. Oh, I heard one. Oh, and there's a, there's a male. Uh, oh, where'd he go? Well, <laughs> we saw the mail for like half a second. Anyways, uh, the first thing that I needed to do this episode. Uh, so, off camera, I did a couple of things. If you remember from the very end of last episode, uh, I made this area over here, which I will be using eventually, probably later this episode, to start building my herbivore cage. And that took me quite a long time. But other than that, I looked at some comments, and I actually found a couple good comments for name suggestions for the Velociraptors. Uh, they were from Killzone45. He said to name the male Tim and the female Lex. Uh, hold on, I need to get some signs. And there we go. We have male Velociraptor Tim and female Velociraptor Rex. I really hope I spelled Velociraptor right, and I actually put the name Lex in the wrong position. There we go. That fixed that. So we have our first two Velociraptors officially named. I'm going to look around to see if I can find them again. Uh, their food supplies do seem to be fine. I was originally going to start out the episode by trying to give them food. I'm actually going to pick that up and put that back in there because no one seems to be eating it. Uh, I was originally going to start out the episode by trying to get them food. They're a better food source because, well, they currently only have like two stacks of food. But, they don't seem to be eating it too terribly fast. I seriously can't find any of them. Wait, wait, there's the, there's the male. Or female. Is that the male or the female? That's the female! So we finally found one! Uh, they're only four days old. I, I would have thought they would be older than that. But, yeah. Uh, it's nice. Uh, and they're gone. Uh, anyways, as I said earlier, I will probably be starting off the episode by working on the herbivore cage. And by that, I mean I just will. And to do that, I need a design for the fence. Now, if I just exit this world really quickly and head into my personal testing world for Jurassic Craft, you can kind of see that I've been working with a couple different things. I've been trying to figure out what kinds of trees that I'll want. I believe I picked, uh, what are these two trees? The Aracaria sapling and the Calamitis sapling. This is that one, right? I believe that's the Calamitis and that is the are a carrier sapling. So anyways, I've been playing around with what trees I want to use, and I also have been playing around with the wall thing. Now, you may notice that the Brachiosaurus is quite a bit taller than the wall, but I actually really like this wall design, I like how it turned out, and I don't think I'll have to worry about them jumping the wall. I don't think Brachiosauruses can really jump much, or really at all. I mean, they're kind of gargantuan. Uh, yeah, this is kind of the design that I decided to go for. We'll have blue and orange stained glass on top of every single pillar. Each pillar will have 16 blocks between them, and we'll have regular bricks. We'll have, what is that again? I believe I have all the different types. We'll have bricks, a dent for the this part, and uh, what's that? And we'll have indented, I believe that is that one. Yes, that's that one. And then this is Celtic, and that is basically just our palette that we'll be using for this wall. So, I guess I should probably head back into the other world and get started. This is going to take me a quite a while. Alright, so I have all of the positions of all the pillars laid out. Uh, there are monsters spawning. That is a tad bit worrying. I'm just going to ignore that. Uh, so we have, I believe, 22 pillars that we're going to need to build. 
And I don't remember how tall these are, and they're all going to be solid, not hollow, because I don't want to waste torches. So this is going to use a lot of cobblestone. It shouldn't be a problem, but we are definitely going to need to go mining after this project. And there we go. We now have three of the pillars in with the walls in between. This is going to be a big project because I've already run out of all the cobblestone that I've used in my inventory. Except for, well, what I obviously have in my hotbar, but that's really not that much. This is seriously going to be a big project, but I will say, this thing is going to look awesome. Like, I am super happy with this design. Uh, I'm slowly getting a hang of building this in the most efficient possible way, not meaning that it's any faster. That's one thing that I didn't really think too much about. While I did know this was going to be a big project, and it was going to take me a very long time, uh, I have been working for about an hour, and I still am only about a... Th well, actually, no. I've gotten quite a bit done in one hour. I might be done with this by, like, I don't know, 4 o'clock? Maybe 3? 2.30? No, it's 2.30 right now. I'm definitely not going to it. I am a little bit scared to jump down, because there is a crocodile there. And if you remember from last episode, apparently crocodiles can teleport at, like, ridiculous speeds. So, I'm just going to assume this is not one of those crocodiles. It's looking at me. Just gonna, just gonna continue building. <laughs> Please don't come over here. Oop. Go, you, you go in. If it attacks anything, it's gonna attack you. Oh, he's surfaced. The goat has ran far away and is now running in the direction of the crocodile. I don't think that goat knows what it's doing. But this crocodile seems to be lazier than the other ones, so I think we're good. Oop. Okay, never mind. This is definitely one of the teleporting crocodiles. And it is now right at my feet. Huh. That may be a little bit of an issue. Wait, no it's not. Because guess what I have? I have a power 4 bow. And like a few arrows. So let's see if we can kill this thing. Go away. And it's dead. I need to use that bow more often. I keep forgetting I have it. Oh, the crocodiles are bringing in reinforcements. They're telling him to... They're teleporting in from everywhere. And teleporting away. Okay, I really don't like this. And second inventory of cobblestone. Fully used. If I open my mini-map, you can see we've gone from here to here. Not even counting that tower, just that wall up to there. So, yeah, we are still so far from being complete with this project. Once again, I did not realize just how gargantuan of a project this would end up being. Alright, I think we are finally halfway done. This seriously is one of the biggest projects I have done in Minecraft in quite a while. Though, like I said, we have this about halfway done. If I click escape, this is actually starting to look... I can't tell if it looks weird or if it looks cool. I know it's going to look a lot better once I actually add in, like, glass and stuff, but currently it looks a little bit weird, but, again, at the same time, really cool. And I am very happy with how this is turning out. And hopefully, with my next update, I will actually be done putting in all the cobblestone. Okay, and I am done. And by that, I mean I ran out of cobblestone with seeing seriously took every single block of cobblestone I have, and I still had, like, one pillar and one wall left. Like, seriously, I, I thought I'd have, like, at least, like, a stack left. Now I don't even have cobblestone to make pickaxes. Uh, I'm sure that this is going to be a very short episode for all of you, but for me, this episode is going to take forever. And now I'm actually done. This seriously took forever. I've been recording for two hours and eight minutes, and I'm still not even done with the wall. Because I still have all the glass parts to do, which is, I believe, what I'm doing next. So basically what I'll do is I'll have blue glass and orange glass, just one of each on every single one of these, because I noticed while looking at the, uh, what's it called, the electric fencing stuff, they had like little orange and blue lights on them. So I figured, you know what? Why not make something like that? So, yeah. 
I just don't know if I'm going to have near the glass or near the die that I'm going to need to do this. Well, in the glass situation, I'm already definitely not going to have enough. And I guess let's just grab an extra stack, split that between the two colors. That'll get me 48 and 48. Actually, no, never mind, we're going to have plenty. This is, uh, hold on, how many pillars do we have? We have 21 pillars, which means we only need 21 for each side. So never mind, we have plenty of glass. The question is, will I have the dye that I need? We definitely have the orange, and yeah, we definitely have the blue that we need. All right, this is actually going a lot smoother than I thought it would be, or go. And I also made way more dye than I actually needed. Oops. And now that we have all the glass in, I definitely can say this is looking much better. It's looking a lot more like the original thing that I built. I don't actually remember if there's anything else that I did to it. Hold on, I need to check my testing world. Nope, that is everything. We officially have every single detail completed. On the wall part, at least. We still do have all of the like, foliage and things, and we do need to put all the lights in the floor. That'll be a painful experience to go through. But the wall is officially complete. Finally. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna build a door. I'm thinking I want a 4x4 piston door right about there, maybe. But that is going to be both very expensive, very difficult for me to build, and I'm not even sure if 4x4 piston doors are possible without observers. I'm sure they are, I just don't remember how to make them. I guess I could also make a 4x4 vault door, those are super simple. But anyways, yeah, I'm thinking that might actually be all I do in today's episode, because I've been going for quite a while, and I'm kind of ready to take a break from Minecraft, so... Uh, that's gonna be all for this time, I hope you enjoyed. Next time we are either going to build the door, or we might put in some of the trees and things, or we might just do like a whole... like group of different things. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.